Today I'm going to show you how to propagate a beautiful Monstera adansonii. I'll be propagating mine today in water. Um, I've never propagated a Monstera adansonii before, but I have propagated a regular Monstera, and the process is going to be pretty much identical for both of them. What you'll need for this is clean, sterilized pruning shears and a very, very fancy decorative uh, glass container like this with uh, water. Actually, just any glass container will be fine. Um, just filled with water kind of at the top here. What you want to look for is uh, something right there and that's actually called an aerial root. So what you want to do is cut um, just kind of below it and this is actually where the roots themselves will grow from. So make sure that you have at least one aerial root or node right there before uh, placing in water because that's where the roots will grow from. It's kind of backed the uh, the camera out there a little bit. So again, right there, there is an aerial root. It's usually near a leaf. Um, there's another one right there. The reason why I'm pruning mine is it's getting uh, quite long and leggy along the sides, kind of drooping down a plant shelf. And I want it more of a compact uh, plant. So what some people usually do is they'll actually put a moss pole in the middle of the pot here so that the uh, aerial roots will attach onto the pole and kind of grow in a more upright spot. So I'm going to actually trim a couple of these branches and I'm, I'm going to be propagating one for a family member, which I said I would give them. And then the rest, once they root, I'll actually just place them back in the pot here. This is the branch I'll be cutting right here and I got some new growth up here, a couple of leaves along here. What I'm going to do is um, I'm actually going to cut it I think right here just like so and then uh, you can place this water or this uh, leaf in water but it might actually die and I don't know if you can see here but it does looks like it has two aerial roots so I am going to actually snip this leaf off like that and then I'll be placing this stem in water. Here's another branch along the other side. It's also looking kind of laggy and I will cut it kind of right here. Snip that off and again I don't want this leaf to be rotting in the water so I'm just going to snip that off. I don't want to but uh, so we'll be placing that in water. Um, I'm actually going to trim this back a little bit here too, just like maybe kind of right there. Because uh, this will, these uh, aerial roots or, or nodes here, this is where the roots will grow. So I got that one and I got this one. I'm going to do the same with that, just trim that back a little bit. Aerial root right there. I took four cuttings off the plant um, and what I've been doing lately is I've been using this uh, rooting hormone or rooting powder. So I'll just undo it, take the cap off and just dip the uh, end of the stem into this powder, just tap it off and then just place it in the water like so. So far I've had pretty good success with this rooting hormone. This kind of helps um, speed up the rooting process. So again, just do the same uh, for all four of them, place them in water, like so. Just find a nice uh, spot for this. A lot of people put them on shelves, that sort of thing. So that's pretty much it. Um, I do believe these Monstera and Sonii take longer to root than, say, uh, a regular Monstera. Um, so I'm probably going to anticipate maybe a month or even more before they start rooting. But I'll make an update video when that happens and then uh, I'll be placing them back, like I said, into the pot to make more of a thicker um, plant and then I'll be giving one of these away to a family member. So if you have any questions or comments, uh, please leave them in the comment section. If you've done this yourself, please uh, leave any tips or tricks that you might have or any information that I've left out. Again, thanks for watching this video. Thanks. Bye.